Hey guys, Hell Let Loose is fairly complicated, so it's only logical that people are going to struggle with the mechanics and the tactics of the game. So let's go over the top 5 mistakes everyone is making on Hell Let Loose. Number 1. Not building garrisons. I've seen squad leaders walk past supplies and tell me that they don't have time to build a garrison because they need to get on the strong point. This is how long it takes to build a garrison. And not building garrisons around the point is, in my opinion, the best way to predict the skill level of the people you're playing with. Having multiple garrisons allows your team to spawn at different locations and detect where the enemy is coming from. They are the be-all, end-all of control in this game. On top of this, having multiple garrisons instead of a single one means you have a higher chance of reinforcing since the odds of one of the spawns being closer to zero on your deploy timer is higher. I was actually going to do an entire 10 minute video on the importance of garrisons but getting this on number one will just have to do. So if you're a supply player or a squad leader, always aim to have at least six garrisons at any given moment. It will not only dramatically improve your chances of winning, but more importantly, it will just make the game more fun. Number two, commanders using wasteful abilities. Almost every commander you see in the game seems to spam their abilities like they're playing an MMO. This not only wastes resources, but some commander abilities are just straight up so bad that they should almost never be used. The main culprit here is the strafing run, an attack that runs along a straight, narrow path that costs a whopping 50 munitions and has barely any impact at all. You might get lucky with it and maybe take down 3 or 4 enemies with it and I'm sure down in the comments I will find someone who has taken down maybe 10 guys with it. But let's put it into perspective. For 50 munitions you can fire 16 artillery shots, each of which has a much higher chance of actually landing precisely where you want and killing just as many enemies as that single strafing run did. Unless you have no artillery to speak of or you just happen to find the entire enemy team lined up in a single file at precisely 90 or 45 degrees, then you're just better off using those munitions for something else. Another waste of munitions is the supply drop which commanders love to use for some top secret garrison building. The problem here is that the entire enemy team, and especially enemy recon teams, can see where that parachute is landing, which means that garrison or nodes that you just built probably won't be there for very long. Squad leaders will also request supplies from the commander, which consumes munitions and has the visibility problem that I just talked about, while they could just ask someone in their squad to play supplies and get a free, easy and faster deploy with them. Another notable mention goes to the airheads, which commanders drop so close to the enemy's strong point that they just get deleted immediately before anyone gets to spawn. Number 3. Running in a straight line. A wise video game villain once said the definition of insanity is doing the same thing over and over again expecting things will somehow be different next time. Cue the hordes of Hella Loose frontliners who run towards the enemy taking the exact shortest route possible between the only garrison that they have in the entire map and the enemy strong point. Over and over again they fight over the same street, over the same open field, not thinking that whoever they shoot is just going to respawn in less than a minute, ready to fight them again and if they die, they respawn at the same garrison and do it all over again. Maybe this time they will outshoot the enemy. Doing this over and over isn't just crazy, it's also just frustrating as hell. You'd think if people learned anything by playing video games is that you can't fight an infinite spawn wave. The only real way an attacker has of crippling the enemy defenses is taking down their spawn points, which almost always means flanking your enemy, so please do that. I'm not saying there's no merit in attacking head on and containing the enemy, but if you really want to push forward, then maybe one or two squads 
need to get around and start seeking those spawn points, which is a thousand times more effective. Number four, no smoking. Speaking of flanking or advancing into enemy territory, a great way to be able to do so is using smoke, but a lot of people seem to think that they are ineffective or worse, damaging to your own team. Maybe it comes down to people not knowing how or when to use smokes or thinking that they will reveal your position, which is true, but you know, if you're already actively engaged with the enemy, then you don't need to hide your position, the enemy already knows you're there. Smoke needs to be dropped as close to the enemy as possible and used as concealment. Use it to cover your movement when you go from one street to the next, or to negate a firing position for an enemy tank, especially in maps like Omaha Beach, where the allies are basically sitting ducks on the beach, using smoke can at least reduce the enemy's accuracy, so please, use smoke. And finally we get to number 5, no comms. With the advent of new players, there seems to be a wave of silence taking over the Hallelu servers. Maybe it's people coming from other games that are just not used to having to talk to your teammates, or maybe it's just shyness that's a problem, but be it within a squad or among squad leaders, there is a distinct lack of communication among public matches nowadays. Talking to your teammates and cooperating with them is absolutely key to the Hell Let Loose experience. This is a team-based game, but if there's no communication, then the team is just a bunch of individual players that happen to be on the same side. If no one is talking, try breaking the ice, try being the one to ask something, or you know, dare propose a grand idea like building more garrisons. Okay guys, that will be all for now. Short little video for you guys, hopefully you found it both fun and informative, and if you did, maybe pass it around, give it a like, and drop a comment if you have any more mistakes that you see people doing a lot in public matches. And as always, if you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing and check out the other videos I have on Hell Let Loose. Thanks for watching, and I hope to catch you in the next one.